Yo, what's going on, Leafer Nation? It's Leafer back again, and welcome back to episode two of Monopoly HUD. If you guys did miss episode one, the link will be in the description. I will give you some time to go ahead, watch that video, and then come back to this one when you're all caught up. Anyways, guys, we are going to continue our road to Division One with Monopoly HUD. Last episode, we went two and no, but before we go and roll the dice, I did do some sets that my friends told me to do that I forgot to do. So we have a mini pack and a player's pack here so uh, maybe we'll get something to help uh, uh, you know towards the team and then after these we will get to the board roll the dice and hopefully it'll be more pack so uh, this mini pack really brought us nothing just a bunch of silver so we'll send that all to the collection and now we're on to the players pack 10 items all players at least five gold players and 180 plus overall player so this will definitely help the team most of these players will probably make the team so here we go we will open up the pack we get a silver player okay where are my gold players? There's one. I doubt he makes the team. Connor Hellebuck. So we got a goaltender. Um, maybe he's better than Jonathan Quick. He's probably taller than him. 6'4". Not too bad. So maybe we found a new netminder. Uh, 75 overall. 74. 76. Mackenzie Weger. John Merle. And a Kempe. So uh, we are going to see what guys make the team. And then we will get to the board. Alright guys, so after those packs, we were only able to fit in two players onto the team. One being Adrian Kempe and one being Connor Halbuck. So definitely an upgrade to the team. Uh, but nevertheless, now we move on to rolling the dice and hopefully getting some more packs to be opened. Alright guys, so first roll of the episode here. Here we go, roll again and we get a 8. Alright guys, so an 8 is by any player. So we got hit with that last, last episode with uh, 1,500 coins. Now we have about 5.3k. The market is about dead. So we could be able to get a somewhat decent player to add to the team. So let's see what's available on the market. Alright guys, so after looking at the market, uh, 83 to 85 overall, we have 5.3k. And I think the best player out of this group is going to be Sean Monaghan. Uh, he has 83 face off so he'll probably be our top line center he'll win us those draws as well he's some very good speed and a very good shot he's a well-rounded card so we're gonna go for the cheapest one here so 4.7 seems to be the cheapest we're gonna go ahead buy monahan and then throw him onto the team so there we go guys our top line center now is sean monahan we moved everyone down one and we were able to put monahan in uh i'm very excited to use him he's definitely going to help out the team so nevertheless, let's head into game number one of the episode. So guys, just a little friendly reminder. We are 2-0-0 with eight games left. We go 2-0 this episode. We get out of Division 10 already. So hopefully we can do that. All right, guys, first game of the episode. And we are hoping for a big win so we can go 3-0 in Div 10. Hopefully his team's not uh, very good and it's someone like mine. So uh, here we go. It looks like he has Matt Murray in net. So uh, not too bad. I think he's an 81 overall. He also has Mike Hoffman, who is that on the draw, uh, Raquel, so he's got a decent team, not bad, but not great, so here we go. Ah, that's a good step, I didn't expect him to step like that. Auberg, to Mon oh, that's a good trip. If I would've got that across, I would've went in, this one's gonna go, oh, okay, good tie up. Here we go, boys, big power play, let's convert on it here. We'll take it with Pulak, oh my god, just wider than net. Here we go, D Dwyer, here we go, we got through. We'll play it a oh, good defensive play. Here we go, Suter. Here we go, Suter. To the races. We're looking for Auburg. Oh, this guy and his dives. Oh my, wow, he reached and got that over me. That's good. And I just poked it into my own net. Oh, boys, if you've seen what's been going on this episode so far in this game, I'm getting absolutely unlucky. This is unreal, boys. Oh, my goodness. Here we go, Muzzin. Take it. We'll get that across. Bittner gets robbed by Matt Murray. What a play. Let's go, Muzzin. I'll skate with it. We skated right into him. Skated right into him again. We somehow still have it. We're going to get that across. Char I can't believe I haven't scored yet with the chances I just had back-to-back -back here. Oh, he doesn't have a shot on goal. He doesn't have a shot on goal and I'm losing. Oh. Kempe, Kaniskanen, to Kempe, Adrian Kempe in his debut episode gets one for us, finally we put one on the board, 
One, one. Let's get it. Get that across. Dwyer, what a save. Another one, Charlie Coyle. It was a bell time. He was so out of position. And just like that, we were up by one. Charlie Coyle getting one for us. Let's go. Auberg. Good little move. There we go. Kempe close to getting a second for us there. What a play, but what an even better save by Matt Murray. He is absolutely robbing us this game. No way. We are slow. Oh, what a save. Get that in front. Monaghan. Oh, so close to getting his first. What a save by Murray. Across. Oh my god, Matt Murray. You absolute god. What a save on Anthony CU. At the end of two, it is two to one us. And again, he has one shot, which didn't go in because I poked the puck in. But that one save Hellbuck made was one hell of a save. We are dominating this guy, but Matt Murray is keeping him very close with us right now. Hellbuck, there we go. There's a big save from Hellbuck. We needed that. This is going to be a TSN turning point. There we go. Face off that actually worked. Muzzin, oh my god. A tip from Anthony to CU. And Murray robbing us again. My goodness. This is playoff Matt Murray right now. Here we go. There it is. Okay, Matt Murray. Take it himself. There it is, Carrie. Oh my. We're making good plays here. Just Matt Murray saving every puck that's coming his way. Pulak, take it. There we go. That should do it. No way. I don't know how we only won 2 1 there, but we did end up getting the win nevertheless. A win is a win. It should have been by more. Just saying, but Matt Murray stood on his head. There's a confirmation of the two points. We do advance to Div 9. If we somehow lose the rest of our games, we pray to God I'm not that bad. Next game, if we win, we do win the D10 title, which is good. Um, and looking at these stats, man 13 minutes time on attack to his 539. 30 shots to his 2. And I only scored one goal on Matt Murray, or two goals on Matt Murray. Ridiculous numbers put up by him. He played unreal. He actually might be the meta this year. Anyways, guys, now that we did win the game, it is time to go back to the board, roll a dice, and we're hoping for packs. Packs. I just want to open up packs. All right, guys, so last time we did roll an A, which was by any player. Now it is time to head back to the board, roll a dice, and hopefully we get packs. So here we go. We're going to roll again, and we get a four. All right, guys, so a four on the board is open up two premium packs. So let's go and do that right now. We got two of these bad boys to open, and we're hoping for something good. Too bad we couldn't land on special packs, so we got some decent special packs out. But we are going to be opening up the premium packs here. So here we go. We're hoping for something good, something to better the team here. So here we go. First pack out of two. Uh, we're hoping for something, like I said, to help the team. Thatcher Demko will not be making the team. We do not need any more goalies. David Kampf may be a player that makes the team. So we'll take it, I guess. Is there anything else? Not the greatest pack. I'm not going to lie to you guys. And now last pack premium pack before we go if we can upgrade the team and head into our next game so here we go something good in this pack please we get a winnipeg mask a firebirds jersey something to help the team come on ea bless us the old school panthers jersey eric robinson probably won't be making the team a silver player contracts oh my god these packs are brutal they're brutal boys they're just brutal all right, guys, so with what we pulled, we were able to make a couple upgrades, believe it or not. We were able to put David Kampf in on the third line, playing alongside Anthony Siu and Di uh, Dyer. Uh, and then we moved down uh, Thomas Raffle. And then on D, um, I don't know when we pulled this Tony D'Angelo, but he was better than who we had here, so we were able to pot him in. But besides that, those are the only upgrades that were uh, you know, able to be put towards the team. Now we head into the next game and hopefully we can win the Div 10 title this game. All right, guys, second and final game of the episode. We are playing River Hawks and we are hoping for this win because if we do win this game, just a little reminder, we do win the Division 10 title. So let's get it. He's got Flurry in that. He's got Palmieri. He's got TJ Oshie. So a decent little team here. Hopefully we can get this win though. Camp, so close. Get that across. There we go, Dwyer getting us a goal. We're up one nothing. We converted on that power play that we did get. Great start to the game. Here we go, boys. Let's keep going. What a save! 
That's twice that Ryan Suter has poked the puck into his own net. Back-to-back -back games. This guy's costing the team more than he's helping. No one, literally no one's on the team's getting open here. Niskanen, go for a shot. Right into bodies. Get that across. Dwyer again. Dwyer gets blocked by his own teammate. This is ridiculous. Get that through. Suter. Kampf, what a save by Fleury. We brought the pressure on that shift. Just couldn't find the back of the net. A puck. Oh my god. How is this puck bouncing back to this guy every play? Oh my goodness. Now we're down by one. Man, I wish I got puck luck like this. I'll be honest with you here. Jake Muzzin. The tip. Schneider. There we go. He tips it. He gets the puck back and knocks the bottle down. We get the achievement. Tie it back up. Let's go. We're better than this guy. All right, guys, at the end of one, I mean, it's an even game. We have two minutes more time on attack than him. Shots are pretty much similar. Um, the difference is Marc-Andre Fleury for him and Suter costing us the game. So hopefully we can come out on top next period. Suter, good fucking shot, dude. Suter is literally costing us this game. We have nothing going. No one's moving the way I want them to. Halbuck makes a huge save. Let's go. After two, we are still tied, and I felt like I had a way better period. We just can't solve Marc-Andre Fleury, and still Suter is costing us, so that hasn't changed. Suter, good shot on goal, and he costed, and he costed again. Are we surprised here? I don't think we're surprised. What a defensive play. Fucking Niskanen's got to make up for Suter's dumbass. Oh, what a fucking shot. Oh, that worked out. The shitty shot hit up the boards, came out in front, and we pot it in. We go up by one again, and now we gotta play some very tight defense. Cole Schneider, Tony D'Angelo making a great play, I guess. Let's go. No. Monaghan, no. No. Good poke. 15 seconds. Puck up. Monaghan with the move to Gauthier. What a save by Fleury. 2 1, and there it is. We win 3-2, to two, and that means we win the division title. Probably one of the toughest games we've played so far in two episodes. Thank God we came out on top. Well, there it is, boys. We win the division 10 title. So we have a D10 pack to open. There's probably nothing in it. But next episode, we are starting in division 9. We also completed some objectives, which means we are going to get some coins. Here, here are the stats. Clearly, you can see I outplayed him. I definitely deserve that win. And... Wow, Cole Schneider getting us two goals. What a big part to the team. I'm pretty sure he's on the fourth line too. So there it is, Division 9. We're going to get the coins for winning the game and winning the title. So we're up to 3.1k. We also have some objectives here, which will get us a couple more coins. Um, and we have the D10 pack to open. So we're up to 3,600 coins. So uh, let's see what this Div 10 pack has in store for us. And then that will be it for this Monopoly HUD episode. So maybe there's something in here, but I highly highly doubt it and that's about it so d10 we are out div 9 here we come anyways guys that is going to be it for this episode of monopoly hut if you guys enjoyed the second episode make sure to drop a like on it. and if you are new around here make sure to hit the subscribe button we are getting close to 2,000 subscribers hopefully we can hit it soon also guys be sure to follow me on my social media, uh, whether it is Instagram, Twitter, or Discord. Links are in the description. Click them, follow, join, do what you gotta do. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!